rented a car. Car sounded a little rough on starting, so <laughs> we'll see. And we are doing a five day road trip around the island of Madeira. We do in in the cable car. Okay. Babe, it's fine. Madeira is an island in the middle of the Atlantic, 435 miles off the African coast, which basically to me means we're in the middle of nowhere. We're all alone, <laughs> isolated in the middle of the ocean. No. It's a bit terrifying when you think about it. We're really in a beautiful place though, and this island is totally drivable within a few hours. We've been here a few days and we decided we have to rent a car. We have to see so much more of the island. There's so much more than just Funchal. And our goal while we're here is over the next five days to just town hop. We want to see all the coastal cities. There's a ton of great hikes here, a ton of great natural pools and beaches. I feel like this island's got it all. Like there's water channels running through it. There's waterfalls everywhere. I've heard even just driving around a lot of bridges, a lot of tunnels to go through because you're basically going through mountains. Lavadas. Lavadas. Lavadas are those natural water channels and there's a lot of hikes that basically go right along those. So we've definitely planned on doing at least one of those. And I've heard like the north is very different from the south and the east is even very different. The east almost is like a different planet. Mm. The weather, there's like tropical, more more sunny on the south the side. The weather is so nice. It's so far since we've been here, it's been Perfect. And one quick note, we are here between April and May time, right before it gets like absolutely hectic. And we've rented the car from Monday to Friday, trying to avoid as many tours as possible. Wow, there's a ton of people here. Holy sh**. Reminds me of like, what you see on Instagram, this reality. And once again, we've, we got a smart car. We yes. had one in Hawaii, have one here. Oh. Woo! <laughs> A little tight squeeze. <laughs> They're zippy, yo. And it's got the convertible top, yeah, yo. Got it. Yeah, that's gonna be I'm good. I'm excited for that. When I put my hands up, playing my song, put a blood by away. So, you know, five days is really gonna give us a lot of time to enjoy it and take it slow and get a really good feel of the entire island. Dude, I feel like I need to take like a deep breath to just <laughs> show the f*** out. Yeah, I mean, they do drive crazy out here and the roads are steep and narrow and all crazy, so. That is one challenge of driving around this island. There are many Titan oh cobblestone, maybe potholed, steep, narrow, cliffside winding roads, and you'll want a car that can pony up. You know, at worst case, if you gotta push it, you gotta push it. All right, we've made it to Cabo Girao, which according to the sign is one of the highest cliffs in the world. <laughs> Making a quick stop now at Ponta do Sol for some grub. <laughs> We're getting pretty hungry right now. Starving. But parking is kind of funny. Like where we parked is above the historic town and now we walked into it along the coast. A lot of little coffee shops and restaurants. Dude, the color of the water is insane. I think it's time for a little cajada. You know what I'm saying? This is the most legit looking cajada I've ever seen. Nathan always going in. Lavada, tomato, avocado. Leviosa and legata. We're just getting ready. Lock the girls in, you know. Pop lock and drop it, dude. Oh, cute. All right, let's do this. 
pods on the way down and the hammies on the way up. Yeah, it's pretty steep down. Because this is one of the most popular Levada walks, we are trying to make it like really fast to the main point so we can enjoy ourselves and take our time coming back. There's a lot of tourist groups. And when we first got here, there was like a tourist group of like 30 or 40. So we're trying to make it down there in quick time. Good night, people here. Wow. Ah! Is it cold? Yeah, it's really great. up to the Ashadas da Cruz cable car. I'm coming in a little sideways. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm okay. You kind of took it too sharp, that's okay. Did I? Yeah. All right, Nathan's out of the car now because he's so embarrassed. You would think the smallest car possible would make it easier to park, but I overthink it. I can park an F-250, but when it comes to a smart car, I look like I just got my license yesterday. We made it to our first cable car. And look how steep it goes straight down. Why do we why do we choose this one first? I heard it's just a good view. It, it seems a bit sketchy, but I think it'll be okay. Well, we're walking back in slight sadness to the car. We won't be riding one of the steepest cable cars in Europe because we had to buy tickets, I guess, before four. They close at six. There's no <laughs> like how would we know that there's just a random sign there, so. I guess we go to Porto Moniz now. Oh my God. I pray nobody comes up. Honestly, I think we took the worst way. I know, we're like, oh, this way is gonna be easier. It's, it seems less windy. Oh no, this one, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm so grateful though they got these like sides because if not, these walls. Well, we also have a, an emergency brake. So. Yeah. Red and dirty, dude. <laughs> Woo! the pools, the Porto free ones. Monis, We're heading down right now to these natural pools. There's two sides over here in Porto Moniz, one that you can pay for that's probably a little bit more touristy, and this one that's free. But yeah, it's the same volcanic rock in either boat in one. Yeah. Danger, or you can have safety. <laughs> you get to decide. You can have body slam, or you can have relaxation. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be slippery as hell. <laughs> it does. That's a lot of moss. Let's see how cold it is. Ah. I'll go fast. That's my recommendation. Oh, it's a little Porca. No, you're good. Get the Italian swear words. <laughs> <Get cut. laughs> oh, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Traveling and frequent moving around can take a lot out of you, regardless of how romanticized it gets portrayed on social media or how glamorous it looks on the surface. Long bus rides, train rides, road trips, and lugging that luggage around are all fun and games until your R&R &R starts to slip. When you got broken suitcases. And believe us, our Airbnbs and bed and breakfast beds are often unreliable and hit or miss. How you liking that bed, Nathan? Just a bare minimum. Seriously, there's no gift 
in this mattress. And that's why whenever we stay put in one place, we stick with Brooklyn bedding. We have them both at home and in our RV, and we love them. Here's why. Brooklyn Bedding offers a wide selection of sizes and firmness levels to best suit you. And they own their own factory in the U.S., which allows them to offer super high quality mattresses without the luxury price tag. They offer a 120 night sleep trial, free shipping, and a 10 year warranty. So if you wanna upgrade your mattress just like we did, head on over to brooklynbedding.com slash travel and use our code travel to get 25% off. We've made it to the black sand beach of Seychelles. This is one of the only sand beaches here in Madeira. The sun just came out from the clouds and the water is like so blue and vibrant, kind of like that Kool-Aid color, you know? We're just cruising around, had the top down. Yeah, I think a five day road trip is the way to go here. Let's go take a dip. This beach is most epic because of this. There's that contrast of the blue water and the big green mountains. We got this black sand over here. Super nice. Like the view is incredible. There's waterfalls everywhere. Yeah. And it's not that crowded, which is also surprising. It is special for sure, because most of the beaches here, they're all rocks and pebbles. So to have actual sand that you can walk on without having any flip-flops, any burks, any water shoes, Chivas. is nice. Look hella white. <laughs> Trying to show you how dark the sand is, but I'm only embarrassing myself. God damn. All right, we made it to another charming town, San Vicente. Looks, uh, Pretty dead this early in the morning, but <laughs> it's nice to just have it to ourselves. Sun's out again. The weather's been like mint since we've been here. Olivia's trying to find our coffee shop. Yes, trying to find one. There. She found a, a 4.5 star review, nine reviews. Yeah. <laughs> We pulled over, saw a little walkway, people walk in. I was just kind of chilling, enjoying myself, and Nathan's like, eh, we shouldn't stay in one spot too long because if you look, this is a cliff edge. And um, at one of the major waterfall spots, the spots where everybody goes and drives their car under, I guess some big rocks have fallen down recently. And um, actually a tourist lost their life, so. Uh, yeah, we just have to be careful on these cliff edges. Madeira has cliffs everywhere. But look. The color of the water is so crazy. Getting up early at the Ass Crack of Dawn is always worth it. It always sucks the first 15 minutes, but we made it. I don't know, Nathan, what do you think? I think it was smart to do hikes back to back. Definitely not. <laughs> My hip flexes are screaming. This is gone, so. <laughs> Oh, we got a sneaky little tunnel. It is currently 7.44. This hike is supposed to take us how long? About four to five hours. How are you doing, Ethan? tough. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dang. Okay, I'm here. Okay. Made it, dude. We did. <laughs> we still have half more to go. Oh, We just sat down at Abrigo do Pastor. It's basically this tavern, this meat tavern in the middle of the mountains in this random location. It's like if they had a ranch out here, it's their version of a ranch. There's like 
deer heads on the wall. We passed sheep on the way to get here. Like, and it's super authentic. We're like the only foreigners in here. And we're meeting here for Eshpitada, which is their traditional way of cooking meat, like on a skewer. So it's like on a stick or whatever. They, they grill it and they're big chunks of beef. And it looks amazing. Oh my God. It is sizzling so hardcore and it is dripping and the smells. Herby. Oh nice God. fresh it has herbs. Herbs and salt. Look, can you see the salt? It smells so good. Dude. This is like their garlic bread. It's bolo di caco. Okay. Not to be confused with bolo di caca, which is a bowl of shit. Okay. <laughs> this is the delicious bread that I believe is sweet potato based. The classic regional way is with garlic, like a garlic bread, but they also do it with pretty much anything. Any kind of sandwich you want, they use this bread and it's very, very okay. good. Fluffy, great crispy edge. You can see the back of it. Almost like a really good pizza crust kind of. Yeah. Oh my God, that's my dream. Is it like a hot pocket? We have found the traditional houses of Madeira right on the side of the road. We just got a little lost. Oh wow, are we in the right spot? Why is there nobody here? Okay, I read this article and I think this guy, he stayed at an Airbnb that was made up of the traditional houses. And yeah. this is the Airbnb. Bang. <laughs> I guess you can stay in some of these like really traditional Madeira houses, which is really cool. But we wanted to see the, I guess, more touristy, beautiful, dolled up ones though. Look at these. They're cute. Wow, next to these flowers, you got the ocean right behind it. Look at this. Oh, they're speaking French. A ton of Frenchies here and Germans. It's like a little fairy tale land. Do you hear the birds too? It feels a bit tourist trappy, but it's, it's yeah. different. I mean, it feels a little like hobbity. I like it. Where's Frodo? We've made it to Saint Lorenzo. Saint. Saint. <laughs> the most eastern tip of Madeira. It's a big, beautiful hike there. You get new landscape, new rock formation. A hike we missed out on. <laughs> yeah, we're probably gonna skip one, and honestly, mm -hmm. on to the next Machico Way. All right, we've made it to Machico Beach. So he's applying some sunscreen round two. Always. Gotta keep this white skin protected, you know what I'm saying? And unlike Seychelles Beach that has black sand, this beach has brown sand. So I'm hoping at some point we, we find some yellow sand, you know, to represent. <laughs> Man. Okay, I think I found our favorite city so far in Madeira. Machico, why? Well, they've got beach volleyball. They have a small sand beach. Another day, another beach. We're now at Machico Beach. So this beach is, I think, just under 30 minutes from Funchal. So definitely a good one to go to if you're staying in that area. And they oh, have... Machico, <laughs> you are Machico. <laughs> but they also have this, it's called like Padel, which is kind of like paddle ball in a sense. They have a court there. And then Nathan just found his beloved sports br oh, bar. I just said sports, sports bra, bar. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, the best vibe. They're playing pool in the back. Really nice table layout, great view, like good TVs. It, it's, it's they have all the sports on. During soccer, like a good soccer game, it'd be so good. Also feels a little bit less, I mean, again, we're here during such a good time, but it's not as crazy populated as Funchal was. I like a good blend of like, a lot of these coastal towns that are literally on like the side of a mountain, they're awesome to visit, but I feel like the livability factor after a while would be, it's tough to get around. The streets are so steep and yeah. narrow and the grocery stores are kind of far. And so I kind of like a blend of like a medium sized city like yeah. Chico or Funchal. Obviously Funchal is much more developed, but it's much more local here for sure. Yeah. Oh, 
Foon Show. All right, we out here in Foon Show. <laughs> About to have some Foon, y'all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, God. Today we are getting on the cable car to go up to Monte, which is a town that basically overlooks the entire city. So we're expecting a really nice view at the top, but also there is a tropical kind of like botanical garden at the top, and Ooh. and most importantly, there's some toboggan rides, Ooh, which I'm I'm a little nervous for because I'm like, how much control do they really have? Obrigada. 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 You get a sunbed and an umbrella. So we paid $13.50 for two people, and we can be here all day long. I think, I believe, till 7 p.m. is when the bar closes and they start to kick you out. <laughs> what the hell is going on? It's a vibe, dude. It's a vibe. 